Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Our next guest says that colors play a significant role in feng shui, influencing our emotions and energy levels. So joining us now to share how we can put that into practice with our vacation planning, we welcome back internationally renowned feng shui master and author of Feng Shui Your Life, Marie Diamond. It's great to see you, Marie. Thank you so much for having me again. So excited to be here. You have some great ideas for planning a trip, traveling and coming home. So let's start about ways to prepare your home before you leave for a vacation. Yes, the first of the thing I would always suggest before you leave, clean out your fridges. So to make sure that you don't come back and it's all smelling really bad in your kitchen area and make up your beds before you leave, like organize your uh, bedroom so that when you come home after, you know, perhaps an extended uh, trip that you literally come home in a, a beautiful space. So declutter before you go. It's such a relief coming home to a clean house after you're tired from traveling, like you said. Okay, let's talk about colors and things to think about when you're packing for a trip. Yeah, well, it's, you know, summertime. So as you're traveling, I would say, bring in the colors. I like, even today, I'm wearing yellows, the, the reds, the pinks. Definitely bring also a lot of white into your uh, area uh, that you bring with you. And also make sure you have a suitcase when you're traveling that you can quickly pick out of um, on the airport so that you don't uh, lose too much time. So just bring in the summery colors. So let go a little bit of the darker grays and browns. It's time to shine. Let the sun come in. You're justifying my hot pink suitcase that I've been holding on to for far too long, but I always find it right away on the carousel. Okay, let's talk about a travel kit that can help you with feng shui while you're, while you're out and about. Well, I always suggest to people to bring at least like a scarf with them because when they go to a hotel room, most of the time they have a television across of the bed. And so a television is reflective. And so when you cover it at night after you've been watching television, it doesn't um, becomes a mirror. And so people sleep better when the television is covered at night. So that's the first thing I always would do a big scarf. Get some lavender mist with you or something that you can spray around so it feels nice and even scented wipes to so just in your um, bathroom that you can wipe things off. So it, it, it smells like at home. So use the same colors that you and the same um, smells that you have at home. So you'll feel like at any place at home. What about hotel traveling? Are there certain areas of the building that you should look for or to avoid staying near? Yeah, I always say try to avoid being close to um, when you're looking outside where there is a parking. Make sure that you're away from the, um, the elevators or where there's a vending machine or an ice machine because at night people come there and tend to make more noise. So politely ask to have a, a room that is more quiet. Perhaps for one night it doesn't feel like it, but when you're there for a long time, I would always suggest that. That's true. And do you have some ideas on maybe some minor rearranging you can do in a hotel room or Airbnb to make the space more welcoming? Yeah, I always suggest to people, if there's in the hotel room or an Airbnb spiky plants, I would definitely put them like, um, or in a closet or in a, uh, a kitchen area, don't put them in the bedroom. Sometimes I literally take out, um, you know, images that are around me in the bedroom because they're too abstract or they're too dark. So it doesn't feel very welcoming um, in your area. So just try to bring in, if you can, if you stay there for a week, bring some fresh bouquet of flowers in the dining area so that at least there's some colors and it feels more at home and get a scented candle so that you can lit so that it feels really an area that is feeling like home. Yeah, that would make a big difference, especially for a more extended stay. Okay, so you've had a great vacation, you're coming home. What are some ways to kind of refresh things now that you're back in your regular place? But the first thing I always would say, open the windows, let some fresh air come in because it's always a little bit stale, the air, when you are gone for a couple of days. And then, uh, you know, let some music uh, play because, you know, when we have been going, then the energy is really too low. It's too yin, as we call it in feng shui. We want to make it yang, like active. So play some music, dance a little bit, uh, bring the fresh flowers, 
make sure that you also can put in some candles if you wish create a beautiful meal so that you really feel you are landed in your home that's so great you want to be excited to come home too it's always fun to travel but your home is your home and making that a special place too is makes a big difference marie thank you so much it was great to see you Thank you so much. Have a wonderful summer. You too. Marie's book again is Feng Shui Your Life. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.